Good evening. We believe that poverty stunts potential. We also believe that a community that is affected by poverty will never reach its full potential. So therefore, that community requires a collective response. So I'm so honored to be with you all tonight as we need your help in providing a collective response to the 65,000 residents of Collin County that are impoverished. I'm Candace Winslow. I'm the executive director of the Storehouse of Collin County, and our mission is to feed, clothe, and care as neighbors in one community. Our agency provides three services to our neighbors. The first is a food pantry. The second is a clothes closet. And the third is a mentoring program for women in need. Our food pantry is called Seven Loaves, and we serve on average 200 families each week that will feed that family with groceries for one full week. Every Thursday afternoon and Saturday morning, we open up our doors to give out fresh meat, dairy, produce, and canned food to those families that are food insecure. We are phenomenally proud to say that we are the largest distributor of food for North Texas Food Bank in Collin County, which is a huge, huge partnership for us. We could not do our work without North Texas Food Bank. Because of that relationship and the relationship that we have with grocery stores and restaurants in our community, we provide 75,000 meals a month to those in Collin County. What we provide to our clients is $92 worth of groceries at a cost to us of $5.10. And we're able to provide that stewardship, again, because of the relationship with the North Texas Food Bank and with the grocers in our community. The second service of our agency is called Joseph's Coat. And Joseph's Coat is a clothes closet where we give our neighbors gently used and new items of clothing. Our neighbors are um, invited into the clothes closet and they shop free of charge for items that they need and want for their family, which could be something as simple as play clothes for a child or a restaurant server's uniform for an adult looking for employment. And again, everything to our clients in the clothes closet is free and we give out approximately 4,000 pieces of clothing each month. Our mentoring program is called Project Hope. And this is when we work with women who are in some um, crisis, whether that be financial, emotional, or physical crisis. We work with these women in an individualized and uh, trained way where we pair women with women to walk alongside them for a year to help them <coughs> to the next step of their transformation. I'd invite you to come to the storehouse and volunteer in the food pantry or the clothes closet on any Thursday afternoon or Saturday morning. But when I'm in a group like this with the collective talent and skills and abilities, I really come to you this, uh, this evening with some very strategic needs, three in specific. First is we need leaders to develop and lead a six month measurement and outcome study of our neighbors that come through the food pantry and through our clothes closet. As my nonprofit colleagues would attest, we are very good at measuring um, uh, outputs as nonprofit agencies, but really the name of the game is outcome. How are we moving the needle in the lives of our neighbors? And one of the things we need as a 10-year-old organization is a group of leaders to help us track how are we changing the lives of those that we serve. The second need that we have is we are currently investigating the possibility of opening up a retail resale shop uh, in our community. Uh, looking at a retail resale model so that we would have a constant source of revenue for the agency. And we're looking for a group of people with retail and entrepreneurial experience to help us in that study. And then lastly, as I think um, you've heard from others, we are always in need of strategic planners. We are ready to write our next strategic plan for the next three years, and I need someone to facilitate that process with our board of directors. Uh, we do have two current seats on the board, and I would be more than uh, happy to entertain questions about what it means to be a board member, serving alongside Mike Walker, who so generously introduced us to you all this evening. And Mike, thank you for doing so. Um, it is um, my privilege and my honor to serve those in our community who need help. And I um, am just so blessed to say that we work with over 4,000 volunteers who annually give 28,000 hours of service in Collin County. 
We are 10 years old, a paid staff of seven, but the tremendous impact that we have done in Collin County, a place in our community that people think there is no poverty, has really been seismic. And I would be thrilled to have you uh, join us in our mission. Thank you.